Ashi, I set their hips down, okay? And if their hips weren't down, it's kind of the, they've already into their, their escape or whatever, right? So if his eyes turn, we know we're going this way, and I'm probably going to go here, okay? Or just roll through with regular Ashi, right? But now the defense is from here. You're going to have a couple of them. They usually all start. The first thing they have to do is get your foot off their hip. Pop. And now there's a few things I can do. I can do different submissions, different transitions, end up in different spots. But let's just talk about the most common and the most helpful one to understand is I want to go immediately, guys, a lot of them go right to double outside Ashi. So when he pushes my foot off, I'm going to open my knee and throw my foot to the outside, and then I'm going to lock my legs here. Boom. I like to cross my top foot, or if I can lock a figure four, it's good. But if right here is all you can get, good. Just cross your feet because he's going to be like this, right? Do it again. He pushes it off. Open my knee. Throw my foot out. Now, when I get here, he's going to have defense to this position too. Okay? I can't just start attacking. Notice what I'm doing though. I'm grabbing his hamstring and his calf and I'm clamping it to me. My legs now, what he wants to do is start coming up. He wants to put his foot on the ground. He now cleared his hip of my foot. So he wants to come up. His ideal goal would be to tuck his foot in, get to his knees, tuck it all in, come up. He gets to hear, guys, I'm going to be screwed. He's going to get out. So go into my head, sprawl out. If he goes, that, I'm going to be I'll lose everything. That's his goal. So when I go double outside, I grab his knee, I pull it up, and we do what we call a splatle. You guys see this? So he pushes it off, knee opens. Watch, I'm going to kick this through, hit him in the stomach. I already know he's going to come up. Boom. Pull his knee up. I splatle. Now watch this. This is driving to the floor, and I'm going to raise this knee, and I'm going to start doing this, okay? I'm trying to keep my knee higher than my other knee, I'm trying to pin him down. I could do that to a lot of people that are smaller than me, but if he's bigger than me, he's going to be able to start coming up, so I have to start driving into him. See my hand? Keep the knee off the ground. I'm going to start scooting. You don't have to fight me, Alan. I'm going to start hitting him in the stomach with my butt. Boom. Okay? My goal is to put his back on the floor. If I try to sit here, he's going to be able to come up and grab me. Don't do that. you got to be, ooh, ooh. <laughs> pull his knee up. Okay? Now that I'm here, guys, this is a, our next position that you need to know. This is called reverse ashi. Backwards ashi. We're facing this way. Look at my feet. I'm going to throw them to the outside and wedge my knees together on the leg. Okay? The reason I do this is because I'm off balance. If I do this, it's easy for me to fall. When I do this, I can hold and kind of balance right here. Okay? Now, we're just not going to stop. We're going right to cross Ashi. Watch how I do that. I'm going to slide this knee up and under as I turn and put this knee on his hip. You'll see what I mean. One, two. Okay? Right when I get here, guys, I need to get this arm or this leg under my armpit and reach for the far leg. When I grab it, I'm going to pull it in, lock, and then watch. I'm going to drop this knee to the floor and scoot away. Create a little distance in between us. And now we're in cross Ashi, the honey hole. Now we're in the best spot. This is the ultimate goal. So, his defense from Ashi, we're going to double outside, but we're not going to stop. We're going right to reverse all the way to the honey hole. Just practicing this loop transition here. So I'm here, feet on the hip. When he pushes, open your knee so you have a path here to kick your foot out. Immediately splaling, boom, pulling this knee up. I put my hand behind me so I can post, get my hips high. I'm going to start driving my butt into him. If he's coming up, i got to be better to do this hard. So as he's coming, boom. Boom, boom, to here. Wedge your knees together on his leg, feet to the outside. Hold his knee. There are a lot of things I can do. I can start attacking leg locks here, guys. There are things. We're going to keep just transitioning, controlling. I'm going to now, I can switch my grip here. I was here. Two, I'm going to start sitting. Guys, when I sit to here, I find his far leg. Pull it in and then hip escape to get my distance. Make sense? So, just so you... Not too confused. It's literally, I'm just spinning around his leg. One, splatle butt bump. And I'm just spinning around his leg, sitting, controlling, finding his far leg. I did it sloppy, but you guys 
I was just trying to show that I'm just rotating around his leg. One more time, nice and easy. Can you see it? Okay, so we're here. I'm going to be controlling. He pushes off. One, two. Put my hand on the mat. I'm going to get tall, pull his knee up. I'm going to start scooting back. If his hips come up, he's going to be able to get me down. So I raise. His hips try to come up. I bump, bump, bump. Feet to the outside. I'm going to now rotate around. I'm going to sit to the mat, find his far leg as I reach over and lock the ankle grip. Here, don't stay here. See my knee? I want to put it on the floor and move away. If I stay here, Alan can defense, grab under my head. He can do all kinds of stuff to me, like hold me here. So as soon as you get here, I don't sit here long. So I go. I'm going here. Away. Let's try it. Ready? One, two. 